In this video, we're going to look at how you can use a Peary splitter to power a little Unify network using just one power outlet. Hello and welcome back to Hostify. My name's Alex and today I wanted to take a quick look at how using a Peary splitter you can create a compact little network setup by only using one power outlet. On the desk, I've got a few things. There was a UXG Lite gateway, a USW Ultra Peary switch, and also my new Peary splitter. This one is suitable for the UXG Lite and also the Unify Express, as it can output five volts at three amps, which is much more than the official Ubiquiti adapter can handle. But to be fair, that one is designed to be used with Unify Protect cameras only. Before we go any further, please consider subscribing to the Hostify YouTube channel. We create video guides about Unify, UISP, and TP-Link Armada on a regular basis. If you need hosting for either of these platforms, check out our website at hostify.com and get started today. The way this works is actually pretty interesting. It splits the power coming in from the Ethernet cable, which can be either 82.3 AF or 82.3 AT, and that's Peary and Peary Plus. It sends the data only to the network device, which in our case is going to be the UXG Lite, and the power pins get routed to this USB-C port. This kind of thing is perfect for the setup I have done today, but it could also be used for many other different applications. This Peary splitter was around £13 on Amazon in the UK, but I'll put some links to other markets in the description down below. So let's look at how we can get this set up then. So we've got the UK Ultra AP, we've got the UXG Lite, and we've also got the USW Ultra Switch. So I've got the Peary splitter here as well, and I've got two Ethernet cables. So down here I've got a, a WAN cable essentially, and this is going back to my um, uh, network switch underneath the desk here. That's just it's plugged into one of my networks. So that can be plugged directly into the WAN port on the UXG Lite. That's all good there. Um, so we're going to put that there. We're going to give power to our USW Ultra switch. So give that some power. And then what I'm going to do is take one of these short cables and this is going to go into any one of the Peary ports on the USW Ultra. And this goes into this Peary adapter here, so this Peary splitter. And you'll see immediately that this gets powered on. So you've got orange and green lights for that. So the PoE or the power coming out the USB-C port is now active. So what we're going to do on the back of the UXG light, again, this is the same for the Unify Express also. Uh, we're going to plug the USB-C cable in. And then we've also got the LAN connection because essentially, again, what this is doing is bridging through the data pins, through this cable, through this adapter, and then to the um, to the switch there. So that the UXG light is now powered on, as you can see. Again, this will work for any device that uses USB-C and you need a network connection to. Think Raspberry Pi, for example, if you don't want to fork out for a Pi hat or something like that. Um, just for fun, we're going to plug in the UK Ultra AP and then we're going to get the full setup experience and see what we've got. So again, one power socket is plugged directly into the USW Ultra switch. And it's powering all of this stuff here and you could power more stuff as well. So that's been a quick look at how you can power up a mini Unify setup, just like this one, using just one power outlet. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. My name's Alex, and I'll see you again in the next one.